Hey, good morning, everybody. So today, I'm gonna do a little fig photography. Uh, once again, I'm bringing Deadpool out. Uh, actually gonna utilize this graffiti on this wall here and see what I can come up with. Uh, there's also some really uh, cool things in this alley here in Cleveland. Don't know what I'll come up with, but got the camera, got Deadpool. Let's see what we come up with. All right, just took a few uh, little test shots just to see how things are going. I'm liking the uh, composition and the uh, framing, so uh, I'm gonna continue on and see what I can come up with. See you in the next one. All right, so I'm just now uh, getting into this whole action figure photography. Um, most of the stuff that I've done has been landscapes, portraits, modeling, uh, weddings, seniors, family. Um, but this is something I'm really starting to get into. Um, it's really creating a lot of uh, ideals. Uh, but to do these, my personal opinion, starts with not necessarily the camera. Um, there's several people that I follow on Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, and these people are doing a lot of wonderful action photography with their iPhones and point and shoots. I'm filming you now on, a, on my G7X. So it's not necessarily the equipment, but it's the ideals that you come up with for the shot. Now, my personal favorites um, right now are the, the Sideshow and Hot Toy figs. Uh, as you can see in comparison to me, these are approximately 12 inches tall. They have great articulation, detail, which makes for, in my opinion, a really good shot, the subject matter. But you can do a lot of good things with six inch, uh, three and three quarter. So this is just sort of my little journey that I'm on right now, and I'm, I'm bringing you guys into it to uh, get your thoughts, and I hope you enjoy it. And let's see what I can create. Hey guys, so when I was talking earlier about you know doing fig photography and you know gear and the, and the actual figures and things like that in this alley, one of the things I really found I found was these these bars on this window, and you know Deadpool being the character that he is, you know funny and sort of a weird way, why not position Deadpool hanging off the bars, giving the old OK symbol, and let's see what we can come up with. Hey, not too bad, if I say so myself. So see, as you can see, you can take the smallest things and actually be very creative with it. I mean, this is the side of a building, a ledge, bars, and a window, and an action fig. So, let's see what else we can do. Hey everybody. So, this, this morning, the only thing I really wanted to do was just give you guys sort of a small sample of what I've been doing here lately. Um, I've got some shots. This is uh, this has been really a fun morning. But you know, if you if you've got cameras, if you got figs, you know, get out and take photos of them. 
have fun with it. You don't need crazy gear. You don't need these, you know, these fantastic locations. You don't need people. You just need yourself and your mind, your thoughts, and your creativity. So this is the first of uh, hopefully more of these type of videos. Um, I do have fig hunt videos on my channel, but I thought I'd actually start creating some of this type of content just to show you what I do with the figs that I actually buy. Uh, as I've said in my previous videos, I don't collect. I put them all to use, and I hope by watching some of what I've done today, you'll realize that I really do enjoy this type of photography. So until next time, I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week, and I hope you enjoy the video. See ya.